Hello again, everyone. Today we're going to be debunking the Flat Earther claim that rockets could not possibly work in space because there's a vacuum in space and the rocket's engine would have no air to push against. What makes this assertion of theirs particularly troublesome is that if you don't pay too much attention to it, it sounds quite logical. I mean, everyone knows that propeller airplanes push air in order to achieve flight. But enough about airplanes, let's talk about rockets. Here's how the assertion usually starts. I should warn you, if there are any small children in the room, please send them away. This fellow is kind of creepy. I am the nature hacker, and this is your world. Today I want to talk about rockets, and how rockets cannot, absolutely cannot work in space. First, um, turn your uh, phone sideways. Then you can have a nice widescreen video. You won't have those two large black bars next to you. I'm surprised no one mentioned this to you before. Now, we've all heard the stories of rockets working in space. Rockets are synonymous with space. You can't think of a rocket probably without thinking of space. Now, why do I say that rockets cannot work in space? Well, it's simple physics that the rocket scientists can't seem to understand because they are frauds that are created by the educational system, brainwashing system. Ooh, there was an assertion without evidence. You all know how I love those. So, let's jump right into it. Why can't rockets work in space? Well, to know the answer to that question, you have to know exactly how rockets do work. We are told that they are Newton's third law devices, which makes anybody who isn't a physicist say, oh, okay, yeah, um, whatever. You do not need to be a physicist to understand Newton's third law. It goes like this. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Use fancy language. Exclusive language. Actually, Newton's third law is kind of interesting in the science world because it's entirely in plain English. There's nothing fancy or exclusive about the way it's worded. If you understand English, you can understand Newton's third law. So... Why can't rockets work in space? It's simple. Because there's no friction for it to be able to work in space. See? They all say the same thing. There's nothing for the rocket to push against. Here's an illustration that shows why the creepy fellow was incorrect. See the stick figure to the left? Let's give him a name. We'll call him Stick Figure on the Left. St he's standing on a, uh, a rolling platform, which gives him a relatively frictionless environment. When he throws this 37-pound medicine ball to his friend, whose name is Stick Figure on the right, he is pushed backwards with the same force that propelled the medicine ball forward. It's quite obvious that the friction argument, or the pushing against something argument, is entirely invalid in this case because the instantaneous action of throwing the medicine ball is what gave the instantaneous reaction or application of force to our friend stick figure on the left. Air resistance or pushing on the air would not be sufficient to cause the kind of rearward motion that stick figure on the left would experience. Now, I know what creepy fellow would say in response. He would say, yes, but in this case, he's pushing against the medicine ball. To which I, of course, would respond, you mean sort of like the rocket pushes against all of that exhaust gas that it's throwing out of its exhaust nozzle. The following video shows a real-world example of this that you can perform yourself. Watch the scale while the man applies an upward force on the weight. The equal and opposite reaction provides a downward force that makes him appear heavier. The converse occurs when he lowers the weight. This is exactly how rockets can work in space in a vacuum with nothing to push against. 
a force is generated by pushing hot gases out the exhaust nozzle of the rocket, and so an equal and opposite force is applied to the rocket itself, which pushes it forward. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope this video will be helpful to you in the future. If any flat earther should ever come to you and say rockets cannot work in space because they have nothing to push against. And if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe. See you next time.